Hello and welcome to zapyard.com. We are ready with our new course SAP Fury using Business Application Studio. This is one of the courses where our training content creators and trainers put lots of thoughts and ideas to make the course best fit for the participants. And we are really proud with the final product we have come up with. This course will be a good starting point for all developers who aspire to become independent front-end developers or SAP full-stack developers. We have compiled this course with great care and discretion. This is not just one training. This is a complete package where the participants will learn JavaScript, SAP OData, UI5, Design, Develop, Deploy and Extend SAP Fury apps and also we will cover SAP Fury elements. We have lots to learn and cover in this course. Let us now look in some more details what we will be covering in this instructor-led live online training. We will introduce the participants to the world of Fury and its architecture. The trainer will explain the differences between SAP UI5 app and Fury app. He will also talk about the standard SAP Fury app library and also showcase some important standard S4 HANA Fury apps. On 13 November 2020, SAP discontinued the free trial version of Web IDE and introduced SAP Business Application Studio as its successor. In this course, we will configure SAP Business Application Studio and set up the system to connect to on-premise S4 HANA system. Also, the trainer will create our first SAP Fiori application using Business Application Studio. If someone wants to learn SAP Fiori, then it should start from the basics. Our trainer will cover the different Fiori user interface controls. He will also cover JavaScript and JavaScript functions to the extent needed to develop SAP Fiori apps. He will create custom Fiori app show the implementation of different Fiori user interface and controls like tables, lists, form, input field text, date formatters, drop down and many more. The complexity of the developed apps will be increased gradually to help the participant grasp the concepts better. He will also show the formatters and how to debug, analyze and troubleshoot SAP UI5 and Fiori applications. Next the trainer will show the configuration of different Fiori apps. He will explain the similarities and differences between master details, work list and overview page. He will also help the participants understand the different features of analytical, fact sheet and transactional apps with some practical examples. When we talk about SAP UI5 or Fiori apps in SAP, we are bound to talk about SAP OData services. After all, SAP OData service is the technology which drives the front-end SAP Fiori apps with data from SAP backend. We will learn how to create SAP OData service. The trainer will cover different query options in SAP OData like service with filters, etc. He will implement the get expand entity set to showcase the header line relationship and associations. In short, he will help the participants kickstart their backend development using SAP OData. Next is the most important and interesting topic. We will learn how to implement SAP OData service with CRUD operations. That is, OData service with create, read, update and delete functionalities. Finally, we will learn how to consume OData service in SAP Fiori apps. This is one topic which you cannot afford to miss in this training. Once we have the Fiori apps developed, we need to learn how to deploy it, how to move the Fiori front-end and back-end components from one landscape to another, that is, from development box to quality, from quality to pre-production, and finally to production system. For that, we need to learn how to create BSP applications, how to save the projects in transport requests. After that, we will learn how to create catalogs, tiles, and groups. Also, we will learn how to create semantic objects and its importance. These days, clients are very demanding. They want the user interface to be perfect to make the customer experience better. 
so they often ask us to design custom fury themes do not worry our trainer will teach how to create custom themes assign themes to user and also guide how to move the themes all the way to production using the robust abap transport management system he will also cover the best practices and guidelines of standard themes till now we played with custom fury apps but in real project you need to activate standard fury shipped by sap the trainer will guide you step by step how to activate standard fury ui and backend o data service of any standard fury app he will also showcase the importance of role assignments in sap fury also almost every full stack developer will be asked to enhance the standard fury app both at front end and back end in this course we will learn how to extend the standard fury app and what are the steps to be followed and the do's and don'ts of fury app activation and extension till now we talked about freestyle sap fury app development but with s4 hana we cannot turn a blind eye to sap fury elements as revealed in the beginning this is not one course this is a package before we conclude our training we will understand the concepts of sap fury elements we will talk and learn about annotations we will also create sap fury apps based out of sap fury elements and ui annotations the trainer will help us understand the good and not so good features of both freestyle sap fury app development and sap fury app development using sap fury elements by now you must have realized there are lots to learn and lots to cover in this training we have also prepared weekly assignments for you which will help you cement the concepts and practicals done in the classes we encourage all participants to sincerely submit their assignments because unless you make your hands dirty you cannot learn and what to do and what not to do trust us if you always wanted to learn sap fury then this is the course you need to take let us look into some important date time and other information the first day of the training is on september 4 2021 at 7:30 am ist this time is gmt plus 5.5 hours so if you are in europe Africa or West Asia you might not be able to join the live classes this time suits better for participants from indian subcontinent east asia australia new zealand north and south america we are open for registration till 24th august 2021 and the payment of fee and enrollment process should be complete by 30th august 2021 the link to enroll for this training is in the description section of this video each class will be little around 25 hours and the whole course will be around 30 hours so there will be total of 12 classes in this course recordings of the class will be provided after every live session and participants will have lifetime access to these recordings the s4 hana 1809 server access will be provided till october 31st 2021 the server access is included in the training fee and you do not need to pay anything extra for it Please check the description section of this video for the course fee and other details. Also, there is a prerequisite for this course that you need to have prior knowledge of normal SAP ABAP programming. If you still have any queries questions, feel free to WhatsApp us at plus one two five one seven two seven nine two seven three or email us at mail zapyard at gmail dot com. or mail at the red zapyard.com thank you very much stay safe and see you live on the training day